engine project, and YASI is about a distributed search. That means uh, you're not searching on a search portal, you download the software and create a search portal for yourself. And my talk today is, to, uh, is about how to look into the future with the YASI search engine. And this is because there is a nice feature uh, now which is able to... Yes, any, any computer with a browser will try. Make it up to you. So if, usually if you search, you do it on a web page. But if you download Yassi, the web page is hosted on your own computer. So you can put in whatever you want to. And um, Yassi can uh, uh, crawl the pages and look what's on the pages. And there's a very new uh, feature which looks at the dates which appear on the, on the web page. So um, you know there are some search modifiers you can use at Google, like in title or um, um, yeah. and there's a new search modifier which is regarding date ah, I need to look there <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> okay, let me that's uh, disturbing that's okay, let me do it this way it's a good point Search portal, and if you search for something like uh, <coughs> you get a search result, and oh, that's that's this. Yes. By the way, this is the, this is the search network uh, with all the peers on it uh, contributing to the search index. And if you search for Singapore, that's JavaScript. This is not JavaScript, this is a, um, yeah, it's a part of it. It's a little bit of JavaScript. Yeah. <laughs> it's not JavaScript. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a server side calculated image image which overloaded over the time. And uh, if you search for Singapore, you can, you can, for example, search for Singapore Robotics on tomorrow. So get the, the search results which are uh, about robotics in Singapore and are happening in tomorrow. So you get a histogram here showing all the results all about uh, around this. And there's an event here on Saturday uh, about legal robotics versus zombies. <laughs> yes. And there's a, it's, this is a very fresh feature. Uh, there's a small bug. It doesn't uh, recognize time zones. So <laughs> it thinks it's in Europe. So tomorrow is today. <laughs> <laughs> we are living in the future. So uh, I'm sorry. So, I, so this is not about looking to the future. It's looking on today. But uh, <laughs> it will be fixed. So and the nice thing is, there's an RSS result uh, page for this. So you can, this is an open search result uh, uh, possibility. So if you click on the RSS, <coughs> then you get an RSS stream telling about what's happening tomorrow about robotics in Singapore every day in your RSS feed reader. So therefore, you can look into the future with your own search engine. This is, uh, I think this is a nice feature. <laughs> So how do you get this? Um, there's the yassi.net homepage where you can download Yassi. And to get the latest version, you must go to the update page and go to the system updater and take the latest development release. 
So you can take your own search engine on your own computer and then you have to feed it with the web pages which should be searched on. And uh, it's, it's done very easily. You start a um, crawler. There's a crawl start a window here. You put in some, some web pages, for example, time schedules about Singapore or whatever you are interested in. And say um, uh, it should only stay on the domain, so crawl only a complete domain. And then you hit start, and it will start to crawl all your web pages uh, inside there. So um, this is it's a very easy setup. You can do this in, in uh, three minutes. Download Yassi and start it, and it's then not running. This is the this is the demo address. This is the demo address. You're not supposed to use this. It's it will be still there in the next uh, years. I hope so. <laughs> But this is not what you are supposed to use. You are supposed to, uh, to use the search engine on your computer. You download the software for this portal on your computer. So you can create your own search to look into your own future what you can do. You can look uh, to, uh, for example, uh, search for Singapore party. I think there's not enough time now left uh, to uh, fill it with questions. So if there are any questions. Let's take a couple of questions for you, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, just one question uh, was that uh, what kind of a tweaking did you do in the information retrieval process or something or was it some API which was used to you know, uh, build this kind of a search engine in general? What kind of technology I, yeah. I use? There's, a, there's a, um, one part of the search engine is made with a Zola search uh, engine. But there's also for the peer-to-peer -peer transmission, there's an, an own index uh, storage technology, so uh, you can transport index fragments to other peers. More questions? Uh, can this be used on intranets? On intranets? Intranet. Yes, of course. This is uh, one, one last thing. There are, there are use cases, free use cases. You can, you can use this like this as a community-based web search and uh, you can use it only for your own pages so it doesn't mix up with all the other pages uh, which are transmitted by other peers so it closes you up to your own search appliance and your search appliance can also be in the internet so this is a distinguishing of the uh, different uh, network areas okay <laughs> what is the collaboration between us one to one here any how, how the collaboration works? Uh, is there any any collaboration or between peer to peer? It's, they are all in this demonstration. They are all connected in a peer to peer <coughs> network, and the, ne the network is a distributed hash table. It's distributed. So every every index has a target. I think I know. <laughs> so thank you for listening. Thank you very much.